good morning guys good morning guys hope you all are doing well it's been a while yes i know i don't post that much on this channel but the time will come when you guys will be seeing a lot from me and um just not now anyway this is going to be like a five minute or a three minutes video so um what i started doing this year this year first of all happy new year guys happy happy new year it's been an amazing year it's been a year full of um experience it's been a glorious year and i've learned to like realize so many things about myself so many things that i need to change about myself so many things that i need to improve about myself and um I'm 21, so I'm definitely going through teenage age. I'm going through being an adult. I'm going through phases of life, um, breakups, relationships, and all of that. And uni, my final year, and everything is just like a whole, um, what's the word? It's just messy. It's just piled up in my head. So I started reading this book that I saw from a friend it's called Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teenagers and it's by Sean Covey. I don't know if I pronounced it well. Is it Sin or Sean? Sin Covey or Sean Sin? Anyway, guys, I don't know the right pronunciation. But yeah, that's the book I've been reading. And it's so educational. It is so, so educational. It teaches you. It's talk, it talks about habits um the different things that we experience as, t as teenagers it has quotes inside it has how to start up a business it has how to um be a better person how to deal with relationships with relationships not only as um a love life relationship but with all the people as well it teaches you how to react to certain um scenarios about life it teaches you um, it teaches you basically a whole bog of things and in each of the the the, the um the, the chapters they've got like topics so it's got the seven habits of happy kids the four disciplines of execution the speed of trust the seven habits of highly effective people the six most important decisions you ever make a guide for teens principle centered leadership first things first the leader in me the third alternative the eighth habit the wisdom and teachings of Stephen cover let's get real or let's not play great work great career smart trust the seven habits of highly effective families life matters what matters most the 10 natural laws of successful time and life management the power principle this book has helped me to understand a lot of things i've not finished the book yet but i know that after i finish this book i'm gonna to have to reread it again like to get like a deeper meaning out of it but for the couple of chapters that i have read i've been able to identify certain habits that i kind of portrayed before and it's more like i developed these habits with time myself if it makes sense and sometimes it's more like, I don't want to just put it out there, but when you go through um, phases in life, for example, I take myself, when you go through like breakups and relationships, it's not a time for you to just sit and mourn and cry. It's more like a setback, like sit back and think. Don't only blame the other person about all the issues that's been going on in your relationship. It's time for you to sit back and think, what is it about you that... You need to improve what is it about you that you need to change what is it about you that you need to develop on and to me this phase of my life it's more like i've actually realized that in life we tend to cling on male affection male attachment and i'm not been really one of them girls that have been really really like lucky when it comes to dating when it comes to relationships when it comes to things like that but i've given myself chances to like be in them and this previous one was that one you know that one relationship you get into and you're like this is it this is my soulmate this is my partner this is the person i'm gonna walk down the aisle with this is my bus stop that this is the final bus stop i'm getting home and when things happen and it doesn't come out the way you've envisioned it, the way you've pictured it, the way you've labeled it in your mind, it's like your whole world is crushed down. But it's also a time for you to realize what is it that you need to improve. And I realized that 
at this time of my life a relationship is not what i need yes because you need to differentiate your wants from what you need and right now i don't need a man i don't need a relationship maybe i want it to fulfill other aspects of my life but i don't need it at the time and it's not only made me to realize like certain things but i've set goals for myself like within the space of two years i want to get a house of my own like even if it's just a box um by the end of this year um, i'll be graduating with a bsc in public health and then career wise what is it i want to do career wise i've been thinking i've been looking up at universities i've been looking at master's degrees i've been looking at um, career jobs i've been looking at all of that updating my cv just trying to do things more that are going to twine with like what life has got for me and not to please another human being because what happened was a massive step in my relationship was the fact that the other person didn't have ish going on for themselves and i didn't have enough ish going on for myself so it's more like and i've come to realize that i have like um a very wild personality i have a very big personality i have a, first of all i'm loud I am a very loud person. I don't. I may not appear like that in, on camera, or maybe I do appear like that. But I have a, like um. Don't look at my lips. Like don't look at my lips. I don't know. I'm gonna put Vaseline on them and then. Yeah, go. I'm not have a lipstick. Like it's winter. The lips get. How do you call this? Yeah, they get dry. So you need to constantly put Vaseline to maintain the softness. You know, <laughs> my uncle would say your lips are so dry they are not attractive to kiss. Anyway, jumping back into the story, so it was time for me to like picture out who I really wanted to be, who I, I was aspiring to be, what my dreams were, what my visions were, and yeah, I just tend to realize that. Your priority is not someone else's priority and you need to first um, learn self-love and that's something that I have started learning, self-love and I've learned and I'm learning that by going to church. Like I used to be a church girl and then uni came, life came, situation came, your girl became this party girl like there was no party. When I say no party, in Leeds, that you wouldn't see me there. No night out that I wasn't turning up. And sometimes you get tired of that. Like now I get tired of alcohol. I get tired of dancing. I get tired. You just get tired and you're like, oof, it's time to take a little break, girl. Like 2018, you were everywhere on everyone's snap, on everyone's post. Like chill, girl. You're not a prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and then i just wanted to share this little experience with you guys and share with you guys what i've been up to why the channel is not running properly and to tell you guys to please be patient with me to please stay with me and yes this is my actual hair and yeah if you've known me from scratch you will know that i've had the hardest hair journey this video is gonna be a mix of everything me just chatting nonsense i've had the hardest like journey of hair and for my hair to have reached this level it's 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 a step like let's be honest let's be real we are moving forward we are getting there we are getting one step there well in fact once we are two steps there two steps there yes guys so um leave the comments like go in the comments and tell me what have you guys been up to has your 2019 started how is it been um relationships are you struggling what's going on talk to your girl let's have discussions i'm trying to make this channel more like let's have topics where we can talk about different things like me sharing this book with you guys i'm gonna ask my friend where she purchased it from and send you guys information my little sister just popped in and it's gonna be noisy so i'm gonna wrap up this video and finish it before she comes here so yes guys and i shall see you guys later
next time don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the notification button so that any year <laughs> that i post something you'll be like oops she posted again and i'll try to do videos guys it's not easy because because of because yes it's not so and i'll see you guys next time and continue to be always positive always be positive that's something that i started in 2018 and it turned me into 2019 positivity always be positive because as long as you're breathing there is hope for a better day for a brighter future and for a good tomorrow do you want to say hi to my little sister do you want to say hello <laughs> i love her so much all right guys see you later bye